angels live in my town. So listen to f up. This crazy. This sounds like you actually have something to say. Oh, good for you. What the fuck is he talking about? You guys are doing terrific. Hey, this is great, I see. I think every American should be watching this. It's good. What's happening, Mikey? This is Angel of My Town, Nagger's number one podcast. <laughs> yes, sir. We got a big show, everybody. Yes, we do. Exciting show. We got, we got, oh man, we got, before, like, without, without any ado, we've got the beautiful, probably the hottest guest we've ever had on the show. Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! Yeah, uh, Carl Hines on the uh, third mic today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, producer extraordinaire Carl Hines, Mr. Hines. Hey, Carl, what's up? What's up, boys? Thanks for joining us again, Carl. Please. No, I was referring to the beautiful, the lovely Nelster Nelly. We have her in studio uh, from Nelly uh, Customs. Uh, yeah. So hey, thanks Ken- for joining us today, Nelly. Kenny Customs. Kenny, Kenny Customs. Customs. Sorry, I. I'll take Nelly's Customs. That's cool. I think Nelly's Customs sounds, sounds a good. lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who the, who the fuck is Kenny? <laughs> Kenny is my husband's last name, actually. What? Yeah. You have a husband? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Show change. That's fine. Yeah, like, uh, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Don't touch the hiney. <laughs> Nelster. So, Nelly, that's great. We have a big show today. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no yep. problem. Thanks for inviting me, guys. Uh, you're very welcome. We're going to recap the sh- uh, last show, Christmas show. Big show. We had, like, fucking Teresa Tam on. Kanye. We had Kanye on. It was a big show. Um, Mike, Mike's got a story he wants to talk about today. We're going to get into that. Kind of relates to our guest as well. Uh, Mike want to pull the talk about this uh, clip. Nikki Glazer. Uh, she's cool with sharing her boyfriend around. That's kind of like she's, like, cool with her boyfriend sleeps around kind of a deal. Correct. Yeah, talk. we'll play that clip. Too. We were going we to talk have that topic discussion see what nelly has to say about that and uh we got yeah we got an interview uh with nelly and uh we got up some games we're gonna play with nelly yeah, we got a game for her. we got one game one game for nelly just one yeah because we figured the interview would be off the hook so well usually Do people are. still say that people say still say off the hook is that a thing know. carl you just said it yeah i did it happens okay well everybody how, how's everyone doing today Good. Mike, are you okay? Uh, I'm running a little bit hot. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Uh, I'll warm my glasses. You always get a little bit flustered right when we roll on the show. Well, I get annoyed too sometimes. And there's been a lot of robot talk lately in the media, so I know you get get a little nervous. Uh, I hate that shit. Uh, Carl, how you doing? I'm doing great. A little bit tired. Yeah, a lot of work. Carl just did a guest spot. No, not a guest spot. Sorry. He just did a spot on, uh, what the fuck's the name of that show? The Boys. The Boys. The Boys. The Boys. Yeah, it's a good show. I like that show, The Boys. You watch that show, Mike? I've actually never seen it. I'm not gonna lie. You watch the boys? No, never seen it. See? It's on Amazon Prime. It's excellent. It's about like, it's about like the world, a world where superheroes exist, but these guys are like they're like rock stars, and they just like, they do coke and and fuck hookers and like, and it's it's just like they're the boys. You know what I mean? We damn boys. Mm. Uh, it's kind of a it's a cool concept. Kind of neat. You know, I don't know. I like the show. I'm gonna but, check it out only because Carl's in it. Carl yeah. just Carl just took it up a level. Carl, what, what was your role in it again, Carl? Um, I think he plays one of the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. No, seriously, what was your role in it again? I think I was passerby number three, something like that. You, know? you get credited for that, I'm assuming. No. No? no. Okay. Ah, at least you're in the show. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, if they saw Carl's portrayal of the Oakville school teacher oh. in, uh, in our promo... <laughs> they would know this correct. guy can do anything. Check it out. He's very versatile. Very versatile. If you haven't seen Carl perform, I mean, you you're not you're not alone. But <laughs> <laughs> you're in for a treat when you do. God damn it, is he good? Wednesday yeah. night, CBC, pretty hard cases. Check oh, it. Oh, look at that. Pretty hard cases. That nice sounds plug, like a fucking Carl. softcore porno. It is not. <laughs> You do more softcore than anyone I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Ah, uh, that's great. So yeah, so Christmas show was fucking great. I loved it. Thanks again, Ben Bankus. Ben Bankus always coming through with Teresa Tam calls. Yeah. And uh, how goddamn funny was that, man? Yeah. Is he funny? Every comment on the video is 
Wow. What do we like those all those those videos all the Tam videos all blow the Tam up, videos yeah. blow up and well, I think it's like, even for Ben like he can't get away from it. Yeah, that's like, they, he can't get away from the voice. His the, Chinese accent is pretty. It's pretty good. On. Yeah, it's it's excellent. It's he's been doing it since he was I a mean, kid. Apparently, as excellent as excellent gets. <laughs> it was like he was born for it. If, <laughs> You're not wrong. He's yeah. very good at it. Yeah, he's very good at it. So that was great episode. What else happened on the group? Kanye called Kanye in. Kanye called in. As a robot. That was really Yay. good. What else did we do on that? I don't even remember. It feels it like so, so long ago, but it really wasn't. It really wasn't. It was like, like what, was a, month like a month ago? <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, we did that uh, delusional calculator. Oh, the delusional fun. calculator. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty wild. Mikey was the... Mikey, uh, that Mikey. was the big winner. Mikey, that's who. Mikey's the big winner. Mikey, Mikey won wins. the game. Yeah. If there's a winner in that game, we all seem like losers. But yeah. Whatever. It is what it is, man. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. Oops. Oh, little 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 jump there. Restarting. No, I'm, um, I gotta get used before, to my Before board. I get into this story, I want to do like uh, this might run flat. We've never done this with a guest before, but normally when we have guests in, or even when we call, they're a little uh, off standish or a little quiet, a little off put. They don't want to jump in right away. So I'm gonna fire you five questions. Just answer which one you prefer. You can like both, but you got to pick one. And I just want what's one. Go, what's one going answer. On here? Listen, one answer. I don't want to hear anything else. Seinfeld or Friends. Oh, Seinfeld. Prince or MJ? MJ. Six pack or bottle of wine? Ooh, six pack. Let's go. Six pack. Star Wars, Star Trek? I've never seen either of them. Damn, flappers or drums? <laughs> drums. Okay, you feeling good now? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's roll into the show. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to try it because she's getting quiet and I want to get her into the story. She said drums, Wait, not I, flappers? I you guys do your whole thing with the intro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, did we're she good. say flums, drums, not flappers? I said drums. Yeah, drums. I'm a drum guy too. Yeah, yeah. I was a drum guy. I, we're the exception. We're the exception, honestly. I think more people like drums than flappers. No, you're wrong. Carl, what do you like? Flappers. See? I'm a flappers guy too because I saw a technique, and you know this guy, Corey Annett. You need it with one. Fucking, you take it and you crush it down, and then you dip it in the blue cheese, and then you just suck, and there's nothing there's, left on the What bone. I like about the flapper is that there is multiple techniques to eat the flapper. And I've seen people. I've seen people. I've seen you do that one where you're like, uh, you do the spread. I don't do a spread. <laughs> I don't do the spread. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're wrong. You? No, no, it's not me. Uh, I'm able to get the bone all on one. I'm able to get, get the meat all on one side of the bone and then discard the little bone and then just suck it right off the Come bone. On, you. I've seen that technique, too. You keep hitting that That drop. one. It's because my keep that's, kill. to keep the screen lit, that one's in the middle. So it's kind of a... So, so you keep hitting... Is that going to happen every show now? Yeah, I think it's a thing now. You ruin, it's like it's brutal. You get distracted so easy. Bush league. You get distracted so easy. Hate it. Anyways, <laughs> we want to roll onto my story. Or we want to talk Christmas. So more? she said Prince, not MJ, or MJ, not Prince. I said MJ. That's interesting. Does that, that lose points for you there, Mike? Big time. Yeah. Prince well, is a I way already, better I musician. Saw the Prince thing, but I'm I'm just being true to myself over here. That's what we wanted. We want you to be honest. Prince, with is, our, Prince is legit. Yeah. Michael did rape way, kids though. Way way more talented, but that's just my opinion. Uh, no, I think so too. I think Prince is well. I don't know. Michael Jackson is pretty fucking talented, dude. Though. Yeah, he's yeah, a great talented. performer. Uh, so thanks for interrupting the show. Kyle <laughs> <Bro. laughs> got that. He is a great performer. <laughs> Mike knows. Yeah, Mike knows. Anyways, anyways, so I was just trying to get her loose. That might fall flat. We weren't done recapping the Christmas. show. I got excited because I was trying to get her into it. I'm all excited yeah. that she's here. I'm, I'm excited now that she's a banger, and not a flapper girl. I mean, that's rare, I think. It's a drum, but nice move. Yeah, they call them bangers <laughs> and flappers. <laughs> uh, I saw a movie called that once. Yeah. <laughs> you were in a movie called that once. <laughs> that's <just> true. <laughs> <laughs> Part two, I think. Uh, the beginning. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, that was the Christmas show. It was pretty jam-packed full of stuff. If you haven't seen it, check it out. A lot of comments. Mike, do we have any comments today? I did not pull any comments, pull unfortunately. Any Sorry. Comments no, sir. Not today. All right. Well, let's get into the story that you want to tell. Well, it kind of relates to our guests. So the other day I was coming from St. Catharines bound towards Fort Erie. Is yeah. that worded correctly? Mm -hmm. Heading towards Fort Erie. I'm under near the McLeod exit in Niagara Falls. And I'm driving behind this black Dodge Ram. Okay. Uh-huh. 10, 15 years old. All of a sudden, it like exploded from like a movie scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when the cars jump when a bomb goes off? Yeah, like, like off the like ground. Like the back of his cab, like the truck, like the, the cab, jumped in the air, and fire came out the side, out the back. Oh, no. He's, like, literally flames everywhere. Like, it looked didn't look real. So he's pulling over. His inside cab, like where he's sitting, is filling with smoke, like just 
couldn't see him. I pulled over because I'm the only person that's nice apparently in the world. Pulled over at least 20, Wait, yard, 20 yards away because I was worried about the flames coming out. Uh, I could not see the guy when I exited out of my work vehicle to see, like, couldn't see him in the, the truck. There was so much smoke. He opened up the door. It started bellowing out, like, just out the side of the door he came out. He comes out. I go, buddy, are you okay? He goes, oh, yeah, my truck just started rattling. I go, your truck's not just fucking rattling, guy. It's fucking on fire. The fucking thing's still on fire, and now the fire's starting to subside a little bit, but you can still see flames underneath the fucking truck. So he's like, I'm like, dude, your truck's on fucking fire, guy. And he's like, what? No. I'm like, are you okay? I'm like, you should get away from your truck. Was he like, why are you talking like you're from Toronto? <laughs> That's had to flare to the story. <laughs> and he's he's like looking at me and I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And then I'm like, well, your truck's on fire. And then he goes, he goes, well, do you have any water? And I'm like, he, I don't have any fucking water. No. You go, I, B He's on fire. Yeah. And he was like looking at me. And so he starts dipping into his truck that's got smoke coming out of it, grabbing water bottles. And he's throwing, getting on his knees. See, and that's like, what makes me feel like he's had this problem before. Like he had a case of water bottles in the car just in case. Well, he had like two car yeah. catch fire again. You know, I might have to pull <laughs> over. But the funny thing is, and then he's like, oh, do you have a fire extinguisher? I'm like, no, I don't have a fire extinguisher. I'm like, buddy, I'm not going anywhere near your truck. Who I fucking go, has a fire extinguisher with them in their car on the highway? Technically, I actually have a fire extinguisher. Nelly does. I technically am supposed to keep one in my truck for safety reasons for job sites, but I did not because we're renewing. We're getting a new one. Okay. Anyways, so I like, technically he might have been right on any other day. You were like, I have an expired one. Well, no, it wasn't even Sorry. in there. Well, and then I'm like, <laughs> buddy, you should really get away from your truck. Yeah. Like, come on. It's like gas and flames. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere near it. I go, I want to help you, but I'm not going near your truck. I go, if you would like a ride, I offer him a ride. And then I said, if you need a cell phone, he's like, no, I got a cell phone. I just need water. He was like obsessed with the fucking water. That's awfully nice of you, Mike. I mean, like Thank a guy, guy who's uh, who's driving a car that uh, spontaneously explodes. Uh, I don't know if I'd let him in my car. He did seem a little off. Oh, so man. then when he said he was good, I'm like, well, I, I want to help you. But like you you got a cell phone. You seem good. He's like, I'm going to call CAA or AAA or whatever the good fuck we call that. it here. I'm like, okay, well, you're good then. I checked, like, you're feeling okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, I just need water. He was, like, obsessed with the fucking water. And I'm like, I'm not, uh, even if I had water, what was it, the, the cup of water? What the fuck was it going to do? Yeah, so, like, could you see where the flame was coming from? Well, underneath the car, it looked like a wire had come loose, and I think I'm not a mechanic, but it looks like we're his, gonna ask your his drive this, shaft, really. I think, the thing that goes down the middle, I think that snapped. Yeah, that explains, like, the crazy shaking and stuff, but, yeah, that's... that's but why would he get fire? Oh, because Electrical? maybe maybe dragging no dragging the metal along the cement sparks sparked it. I don't know maybe sparks, and then but it would instantly start shaking. Correct, as soon as it snapped, so he would have pulled over once it started shaking. But the guy did seem a little off, so maybe he was driving with the truck shaking. Nelly, have wow. you heard of such a thing before? No, I I mean thank God it hasn't happened to me. But um, yeah, that's why you carry a fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's possible. Lesson learned. <laughs> it's possible that it was a hit gone wrong. It was a botched hit. That's what it looked like, and you're not far off. It, but like a, it sounds like a botched hit to me. I don't know that guy's life, but I don't know he life. didn't look like people would be putting hits on him. No <laughs> offense, guy. If you never know. You know what? Maybe he's maybe maybe he's got a life insurance policy worth like half a million bucks, and his wife was just like, you know what? I found this online. Let's fuck, see if this works. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this shit works. Oh, uh, shit. Anyways, well, that was my story. I thought, you know. I mean, definitely it looked like something snapped and was dangling there, but there was also wires hanging there, too. I, I don't know. But to, to go near a truck in flames seems crazy to me. Yeah. So that's why you did it. Well, no, I stood 20 yards away. <laughs> I, I honestly think you you're crazy. You that off. I not not crazy. every hero wears capes, bro. Yeah, I agree, but you couldn't, you couldn't help him if, if, if you wanted to. You didn't have a fire extinguisher. You don't know anything about. Mechanics. I wasn't worried about the truck so much as you don't know him. About cars. I wasn't so worried about the truck. Once he cleared up that he was okay, I was you like, "Don't okay. give a shit if he's okay." No, that's not. Did you me. film it? Did you get your phone out? <laughs> no, I'm not that quick. Amateur. Yeah, right. For someone that's on I social media like, with the show, you think context for the show. You're not. I'm right. always thinking about the show when I'm when I'm driving down the highway. Hundred yeah. percent. That's all I'm thinking about. Yeah, when he's on vacation, takes zero shots for the show. Let's that's talk not about, true. Let's talk about that's that. Not true. And I'm not on vacation. <laughs> Work slash I enjoy a couple of days, maybe later long ones. Well, I don't know. Or maybe it is a vacation, but whatever. I do take shots. I've got shots. I've got some nice shots. I was in. Uh, <laughs> now that Mike brought it up, I was in. Um, I've been traveling the states a lot. Go. I went to Miami, and then I went to. Uh, Texas, and then I went to New Orleans for New Year's, and then I just got back from Nashville. 
Nashville is fucking cool, man. Humble brag. Yeah. No, but I set I set him up. He knocked it down. The yeah, U.S. The I U.S. Did that on is purpose. full of uh, beautiful places. It's almost like every state's like a different country. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I do love the states. But anyways, I took we got I got shots of um uh of me in uh in a car with your angels on my town shirt on with the angels on my town shirt on doing I was dr- right where JFK got shot. Oh, that's in actually Dallas. a good shot. Did he send that to you? Yeah. Did he send oh. that to you? Oh, okay. I, I'll put it. We'll put it up on the socials. <laughs> in it, Dealey Plaza. I did, yeah. I, yeah. Exactly. Wow. And I, do, I, do, I didn't look impre- at the big brains on Carl. Yeah, bro. And I and I did my whole um, uh, JFK impression while I was doing it. So this goes goes. You died. It goes like it goes like this. It goes like this. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> but I did it right there. <laughs> I did it right there in the context, so it worked. What did you think of that acting there? Oh, it was good. That was Carl? Good. See? Thank you. Uh, we'll do another take. I, oh. oh I don't Carl, you're not directing, okay? <laughs> Just stick it back. Stick, stick to producing. Back, stick back there and fucking make sure the cameras are switching. All right, buddy? <clears throat> switch that camera. Are you switching the cameras, Carl? Uh, am I supposed to? God damn it. Oh, Carl, come on, bro. God damn it. We can't redo this. Hey, Carl, what's up? <laughs> Carl's excellent. Carl's excellent. Carl's a, 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 um, a consummate professional. He, he, I, I, I will say times. that. As much as we bust his balls, yeah, I do think he is. He's a, a consummate thanks, professional. Thanks, guys. Always on time. Always conscientious. Always. And you know what? Really cares. He does. Here's about what we're doing. I do care. He's not just coming for the paycheck. Definitely not. Wait, you're getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys. Uh, Guy's a consummate professional. He is. I agree with that. Uh, so that was a great story, Mike. I like this story. I thought it was interesting. It's interesting. And I've I, never seen. I, I never was hoping Nelly oh, would oh, have a little more insight. Oh, Nelly, I've like, never seen anything like that in my life. Oh, no, oh, no, no good. I don't <laughs> no, even think that's do the again. line. Do it again. It, it, no one's gonna get the reference because I don't even think it's the line in the movie. Actually, similar. I've never seen like Cheech in my life. I never, it's Cheech and Chong. No, I never saw Cheech like that in my life. If you haven't seen that movie, you should check it out. It's really hard because Cheech is. He's Hispanic as well. Fucking genius. Anyways. Anyways, I digress. Nelly. Yes. Um. Wh- so, what kind of cars do you work on? Like, uh, I checked out your inst. Like, I checked out your insta a bit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, wow, this girl. She really knows. She really like is into what she's doing. She's really passionate. Yeah. Um. Well, I usually work on my own truck. Like, basically, I'm just really familiar with the small block Chevys. That's. I mean, that's what I've got. So that's what I've got my hands on. But yeah. Um, yeah, we do like we do small repairs and we do full restorations, but. Right now, Liam is getting his uh, 1961 Cadillac on the road as we speak. Sweet. Ooh. It had no brakes as I was leaving uh, out the driveway. Is it a pink Cadillac? Uh, no, it's cream colored. Oh, I see. Yeah, you'll see it around. You'll see it around. Yeah, yeah I see yeah. your truck around town all the time, actually. Yeah, yeah, I move around. You have two trucks, no? Um, yeah, I've w- we've got a few. We've got a few, but usually people know me for the yellow and white one. Yeah, and that's and that's that's like a full time gig then for yeah. you guys. You guys just like you wake up in the morning. Wake up in the morning, and there the work is out in there the barn. in the, the barn, eh? Yep. And now and now when it's winter time and it's cold out, you guys still are like going out in the barn and doing shit. Or you guys yeah. kind of slow down a bit. No, uh, it's fully insulated, heated. It's warmer than. Most people's houses here, so, warmer I, than I here. I insulated it myself. I know there's no there's no cold air coming in at all. So and is it? It's Monday to Friday every day. You're in that garage yep. doing your thing. Yep, yep. I like that. That's like you guys. You guys. Do you feel like I can't wait to get in the garage and work on this and <laughs> do that? Not always, but uh, usually. I mean, can't wait to lube that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. It is fun, just like being able to wake up and just do whatever you want to. I mean, create yeah. your own schedule. It but sounds like all mechanics are like that. We have a friend that's a bow mechanic. Well, I have two friends that are bow mechanics. Yeah. And they, they have that lifestyle, too. Like, the one doesn't wake up to fucking 11 o'clock every day. Which one? They, uh, uh, I don't want... Uh, maybe he doesn't Egan? want to be mentioned. Yeah, Egan. I didn't know he was a bow Egan? mechanic. Buddy, Egan Marine. Oh, that's, his, know that. that's his company. That I know, guy, that I know, guy lives I, a life kind of like what st- you're explaining to me. From what I, I don't know his Stuntman life. has to wake up early. Stuntman's got a schedule. He's, he's got, got a regular gig now. Regular but like gig. if he was his own boss, Stuntman, I don't think would be. Yeah. Well, he's an early riser. But I'm just thinking like you and your husband work together in the garage, right? Mm-hmm. How do you guys yeah, manage to like that? keep your hands off each other while you're like working on cars? I'd figure that'd be like a natural aphrodisiac. Oh, there's a lock on the door. So, oh, that's so but I'm like, how do you get work done? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would she just said there's a lock on the door. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, he's laying pipe. That's he a, is working. He's uh, he's doing that kind of work, but I'm like, they have they have bills to pay. <laughs> I mean, how does that get done? How does the real work get done? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it's yeah. Well, 
I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I that's that's makes sense to me, but I think that's a beautiful thing for couples to be able to like, you know, you make a living together, you spend all that time together. Is it a little much though, or do you gotta feel like uh, uh, well fuck. like uh, living on the same property that your business is at kind of makes you feel like you have to work all, all the time. Yeah, I have I feel yeah. You, so yeah, there is that, but other you kind of got that too a little bit. I got a little I got that a little too. I don't know when work day ends with when it starts, you know. It's just all the time just get the work done. Mm-hmm. But um but um, but your husband and you like obviously you guys spend like a lot of time together. Yes, a lot actually. <laughs> and we got along great. Like we there's no like overload of that. It's just spending a lot of time in the same place at the end of the day is kind of like okay we got to get out of here we got to go somewhere go to brimstone or something and yeah well it must be nice too that you're your own boss and if you needed a break you're just like well fuck it oh yeah you know, this guy's not going to know if this isn't getting done right this second i'm taking a fucking break <laughs> yeah, sorry about your breaks pal <laughs> yeah <laughs> i need a fucking break that would be me <laughs> if i was a mechanic not today asshole <laughs> Do you, so is it like is it just restorations or are you having like people come in and saying hey we I need a fucking brake job I need uh, I we want a don't, fucking new gear shift I want a Hurst gear shift yeah we don't do mechanical we tried like doing it all at the beginning but it's just the two of us so it was just taking up way too much time and he's a certified auto body tech so we just stuck to uh, the body work yeah actually my dad reached out to you body guys work. to do something and you guys you guys your schedule was yeah. pretty jam packed but uh, yeah. he said that you might get to it later but my dad's impatient so he's moved <laughs> yeah most he is eh? your dad is like he very wants demanding. things like when he asks me something to do it's, it's when he wants something but he's <laughs> super sweet guy very sweet i love the guy yeah but it's like he's very demanding. he needs help <laughs> i think <better laughs> help him yeah there's no time to waste uh and it's and if and if you don't help him persona non grata <laughs> i don't know about that yeah you're like <laughs> don't exist but anyway so that's that's really cool so what is what's some of the cool restoration projects that you've done like can we we can maybe throw up some some shots of some of the great work you've been doing. You know what? Uh, honestly, Carl, like, check out our Instagram. Yeah, yeah, just check out my Instagram. Our Instagram, Instagram just, we don't Carl. need to get into that, but yeah, just check out my Instagram. Do we right we want to do the topic too, and then go back while he's checking out the Instagram, see what her thoughts are on the topic. Yeah, let's get into the topic a bit. Interview you know, the topic. Yeah, yeah. We'll go back, back and, and forth. forth between Nelly because I, I want yeah. the audience to get to know this uh, yeah, lovely you. young lady from this from the area. She's a local. Well, she sent me like here your whole life, Nelly. Yes, I have. I grew up in Stevensville, and I've just been here ever since. It's so crazy. Like I grew up here too, mm-hmm. and I don't know. You're probably a little younger than me. I don't know. Probably I'm a lot. Thirty-one. Younger. Yeah, she's a lot. Younger. Oh, she's just a bit younger than you. A bit. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> anyway, she, uh, but like I've never met you. I've never heard of you. Don't. It's weird to me. Because I, I found out. Like, about I feel you like you know everyone. Media. Here. I found out through her social media. Yeah. Oh, Every, she's, someone she's was like, "Oh, on... you got to check out this chick. She works on cars," and I'm like, "Sure." And I'm not not no I'm not a big car person. I would. I love cars. Although I do love my Volkswagen, I would purchase another one. I like muscle Volkswagen. cars. Do you like muscle cars? Yeah, I like muscle cars. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a nine. I'm a Porsche 911 guy, but I also like. I just I'm falling in love with the new vets. Like I just can't get enough. I, I like a 1976 red <laughs> Corvette. Red. Specifically, like Dirk. Stingray, like the king of Dirk. The Full stingray. overhead cams. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Racing, racing in line, whatever. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, I love that movie too. Uh, anyway, yeah. Come so you, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, that was the right time to use it. That was no, the only time. No one to else is getting drop. this right now except for me and Mike. Sorry, we apologize. <laughs> That's the only time to use that drop. I think. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> that's a great drop. We were like, how the fuck did we throw that drop in there? Saving that one. That's a wrap. That was yeah. fire. Okay, so let's get into the topic, Mike. Yes. So comedian Nick, Nikki Glazer. She wants to. She wants her bur- boyfriend to sleep, but she's like, she wants him to, or she's cool with. I, it? I sent you the link. Play it. It's it's it's, it's, it's like a minute long. It's very interesting. I'd love to hear a girl's perspective on this, mm-hmm. but play it so Crazy Carl can get in on this too. Play the clip. One second. Fucking do it live. I'm doing it fucking live. Fucking thing. Fucking thing sucks. Right. Fucking thing sucks. Oh, fuck it. oh here we go. Shut up. More technical problems here? No. We're we're running good today so far. Oh, uh, it's just you know when you drag over <clears throat> something. Yeah, we're such amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, your producing sucks here, bro. Camera four is Gonzo. Which one's camera four? TV. Oh, the TV. Why is it gone? Why is it gone? I have no idea. I get a blank screen. That's weird. We fucked up. <laughs> okay, are we ready to play with Nikki Glaser? All right. So what is four. this, Mike? What is this? She wants to fuck. 
uh, her boyfriend. Her boyfriend wants to. Her no, 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 not her boyfriend. She wants. We'll play the clip, but she wants her boyfriend basically to try other things so he comes back. It's hard. She explains it better. Me. By the way, if you don't know who Nikki Glaser is, Carl, Carl, you know, yeah, I do. She's a famous comedian. Oh, okay. Uh, very popular, and she's hot. Yeah, she's attractive. And she. I didn't know that picture. But not no no this middling. one yeah. <laughs> But like her confidence at the end of the video, you'll see. Play it. But she's a she's a comedian, okay. famous comedian. Well, Play I'm a weirdo, time. and I like um, my boyfriend to at least entertain the idea of being with other women or be with them. I think it's about like um, I want to be on HBO Max because people watch HBO Max. It's a cool network. I want my show on a place that is a cool, shiny. <laughs> you like, I want things that other people want. Would you be cool with him sleeping with somebody else yeah. right now? Yeah. I mean, if he wanted to be with her, no. That, then don't like be with her. That like, interview was asking me. like, It'd be like if- for himself. He's like, <laughs> man, you think he, he, would you mind if your boyfriend fucked somebody else like me? Or I get his number. Man, 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 I might want to fuck, fuck him. You know? Hey, now. <laughs> I could, I, it I could was like, like it. cooked him a meal every night and someone else made him a meal. I wouldn't be like, oh, Another person cooked you like it's that's how I look at sex. Whereas like he likes my cooking the best, and part of my cooking is dependent on him trying other things so that we could I can try them for uh, him. You don't think it would hurt you? No. Buddy, I that confidence is crazy, right? Like I don't know. So go I fuck other buddy, chicks and bullshit. <laughs> I'm not gonna be bothered by it because my cooking's the best. Bullshit. Bullshit. You don't. You call bullshit. I don't know. She seemed pretty confident there. No. I have no input on this. Topic. I don't know what the context was. <laughs> you fucking liar. Girl. Why she was talking about it, but um. So if your husband, would you be cool with your husband going to fuck other girls as long as he came back and fucked you as well? Uh, Ooh. I've heard. Just a lot get right about, to like, it. That's what we're Ooh. talking about. Very, very personal, Mike. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I've heard a, a lot about like open relationships and stuff these days, so I yeah. wouldn't count it out. Like people do all kinds of crazy stuff, and and that's fine. Uh, it's not I so crazy know, anymore. But, 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 but did the boyfriend point, already do it? Like, has she already talked to him, or no, is she no. telling oh. just this, like, yeah. like did they already talk about this, or is she just saying it on TV? All I know is she's talking about like going out to eat in other places. If I cook you meal at home. Yeah. And you decide I'm going to go out to fucking McDonald's instead and you come home you're not hungry? I'm fucking pissed. That Even though even though you came home for my cooking, you already ate. But that being said, if you went out fucked another girl and then your wife was like like let's fuck again and you're like I'm already good. Yeah, I don't would you say I'm I don't think I'm saying you're already good. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to hit it. I'm going to try my best if I can swing at this age. I but you, two you, three you, times you a day. You don't fuck other women and you can hardly bang your wife. You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad joke. <laughs> I think I think Mike is a little bit different. I think it's on the nights when she doesn't want to cook, and she's like, "Honey, I don't want to cook tonight. Can we just get takeout?" Right. And she's okay with that because he's going right? to come home for her meal another day. No, he's going to go eat takeout. Yeah, but he's going to come back home again and have her meal again another day. Well, another day. Yeah, and she's okay with it. But her dinner's going to stay home cold. It's going to sit there in the. You can always warm it up. Leftovers. Warm it up. You're going to have it for lunch tomorrow. Or for breakfast the next day. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I so what's your take? Like, so would you be okay with your husband doing that? Like, you say, hey, go, I think go she- have some dinner, and then tomorrow I'm going to cook you dinner. I think that, um, like, it depends on obviously the person, but I just would love to hear this, like, what the guy has to say about it, or yeah. if they've already talked about it. Yeah, like, maybe the guy doesn't even want to fuck other. No, guys. exactly. I don't mm. know. I don't know if she's just trying to act cool and say that, or I feel like that's what some she's doing. people, some people actually do want to spice things up, and maybe that's her way of saying it. And then later he'll flip this on and look at it and go, hmm. Right. Well, let's take it from know, both like, scenarios then. Let's assume I think it's a defense mechanism. I think she's like preparing Ooh. herself. She's you're calling bullshit. Somebody. You're calling Honestly, bullshit. Yeah, it didn't really seem authentic to me. There you go. Um, See, I called it. T- uh, I like the, the confidence. I thought she was confident. I think it's bullshit. It, no, it, it's seemed, mask, yeah. it seemed like trying to force confidence to me. It tra- seemed, it seemed like a tactic. It's like Ooh, a tactic. Me. Yeah. yeah, like it's like a mask she puts on. Like yeah, because there are people who do like enjoy that. Oh, but 100%. you wouldn't be like announcing it in that fashion if you actually were cool with it. How many years have you been married? That's interesting. Now? I have been married uh, since 2017. So let's you do can... the math, Carl. Uh, 2017. Almost, almost six. Almost six. Almost six. Almost six. Almost six. But we've been together since 2012, so that's a long time. 2012. So you were. So you. 
Crazy Carl's got a point there, right? <laughs> uh, so you're, you said you're 31? Yes. You're 31 now, so let's, let's do some just, quick maths here. Jack, Carl. Uh, 11. Buddy, whoa. What? She was, whoa. She's been dating him since she was 11? No. <laughs> 31 11 to 25. Years, 20, 20, 20 to 31, 11 years. She said 31 to 25. Did I mishear that? I think she said she was 2012 they started dating. Yeah, we used to Oh, 2012. 2012. I thought yeah. married. I miss her. Go no. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Speak up. I'm crazy, Carl. Married the in The answer is still 11. Yeah. <laughs> and then you double down. I think crazy Carl is right. I think maybe. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so 11 years you've been together. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's uh, that's a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. They always say that you get an itch out of like seven years. Seven year itch. Okay. Um, what is it like? I mean, for a lot of people who are out there, married couples, I know there's a lot of people who got married, uh, you know, at the appropriate time. What's I was appropriate. What's appropriate? I wasn't one of them. I'd say your late twenties, okay. late twenties, early thirties. Th- I think now it's going deeper. I think people are getting married in their thirties and having kids later. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm almost in my forties. Our generation. Yes. 27, late 27, 28, 29 I, was more acceptable. Now with the younger generation that's coming up, I think they're going to be more thirties. I got news for you though, buddy. What's the news? I, 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 was always, I was always down on myself for waiting so long. Like, oh, I'm, so, I'm getting old and you, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to settle down. I think I'm doing it right. Mm-hmm. I think I'm doing it the right way. But anyways, what, what do I know? But anyways, but, you know, getting if I'd gotten married 10 years ago, 11 years ago. I'm in that frame. I don't Thir- know 13. What, how I'd feel right now. I don't know how I'd feel about everything. I feel tired. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel tired. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because yeah. it's like because you're just like okay. There's another what forty forty years mm-hmm. of this. Yeah. Okay. It's, you know what I mean. You have was... to be sure. Like you have to know like that you're gonna have a good time. Like you can't just yeah. have like a boring life. You have to have an exciting life with like lots of things in common. Right. Always yeah. being stimulated. I'm uh, just letting you know that I could tell that she's younger because she always needs to be stimulated. I just like being <laughs> comfortable. But you know, I, I, is that I, a problem? I just like being comfortable. <laughs> but don't so you like that? You, but you I also like, like, you like the safety. Thank you. And I also like to party. <laughs> you look very comfortable. But I also like to party sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mike does like to party. Just saying. So comfortable party. There's a you balance. Can have a balance. See, have yin a balance yang. There. But I need well, Ben here to do a little Chinese voice. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say you're comfortably balance. partying right now? This is comfortable. Well, I would like to turn it up a little notch, but I'm not going to start smoking he, and drinking <laughs> and doing shots. i got to stay focused here. This he's is a lot, lot of, going on here. This guy's got a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. And it's hard to get him out of the... It's get, hard to get him out of the... Out of the nest. Zone. Out of the nest. Out of the nest, yeah. It so, is. So you're in your 40s. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, not yet, not yet. We're pro- not whoa. Okay, whoa. Well, I'm just... Whoa. 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 Easy. Easy. I'm, I'm trying to put the puzzle pieces together that you're together. giving me. What's your let's problem? Okay, let's, let's, so you know you, what? Fuck unpack, this. We're unpack, done. Let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. We're, <laughs> we're going deep on Mike. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well. Like what, Mike doesn't look 40, does he? Not when I have a hat. No, no, I was funny. just. She's being I, nice. I was no going, offense. What a what Based a bitch. off what you were saying before um, about, you know, being with the same person forever and how you're so glad that you. Oh, that was this of, Mike. Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of glad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I still have a, like, um, uh, you know, the openness to like, I haven't had a failed marriage. I don't have kids. Like I have like. Mm-hmm. I but failed relationships, though. Have many. There yeah, yeah, and that's okay, ones. and that's okay, and and is I it? kind of feel the same way. Like I'm, I don't have kids yet, which is uncommon in my circle of people. Right. And I kind of feel like, like I could have had kids at any point now. Like I could have kids today if I wanted, but of course. I haven't yet. So yeah. I, I'm on the same page as you. Whereas, like, mm-hmm. it's never like you can't like look back and go, oh, geez, I should have done that because like I'm happy with where I am now and I have the freedom. And Do you have the itch? Yeah. Have you thought like, oh, have you had the discussion? Do we want kids? Have you? Have you? Oh, have yeah. you are you? Per, yeah. Are you? Are you avoiding it purposely? Um, to, like, are you trying not to? Well, are you on the fucking pill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that? Sorry. I, what's El Chupacabra rule? Is that, do we talk oh. about the pill here? Or? Oh yeah, you definitely. Oh, anything flies here. She checked. She caught. She's, she's really she looking. <laughs> she's she's really looking around the room. I right know. Now. Well, it is an expensive. I mean, it is. It is. It's it's something to take. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, well, let's just say if I wanted to have kids, I would have them by now. But I still might. That's no pill. That's no pill. I think women. (laughs) I think it's. I think it's hard to almost harder to have a marriage without children. I think. Really. I don't know. Like, so you're saying that like the children are the binding glue? I think that's bad. I I I think I I agree. I think like having a family 
uh, or getting married is about having a family. And if you're not going to have a family, it's like you're you right. really need to get married. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. You can... You're right. And actually, when I got married, my mentality about marriage was completely different than it is now. Yeah. Uh, and like I I'd like nothing against people who th- think marriage is like the best thing ever. But right, I don't yeah. think it's necessary. It's not. It's like right. There's no point to it, really. You want to hear something? Um, marriage. You're going to have a family and you're going to go the distance if where it's like marriage is what you make it. To have a family. Yes, exactly. Yeah. What's that? Marriage is what you make it. And I did not say I like to see homos naked. I said marriage <laughs> is what you make it. <laughs> you make it. <laughs> Would you agree, Carl? Marriage is what you make it. So there could be a relationship with people. And if you, this is what you're happy doing, then that's... that's exactly. That's, and if you want your husband to go out and have sex with other women... Like Nikki Glacier. Does, We're calling bull... Well, I'm not like, calling bullshit. I thought that... like I'd before, sleep with you in a heartbeat. <laughs> before... <laughs> Before we actually watched the video, I thought that it was I'm like she <laughs> wanted to watch the people having sex, like a cuck, and just sit there yeah. and watch them. And I thought it was going to be like a fetish thing. But now that I know it's not, I kind of feel like it was a little phony baloney. To you me, didn't but. see confidence in those eyes? Am I crazy? Or it's I just totally in there, there her are wheelhouse. If you watch her stuff, she she's watched. totally like that all the time. Like oh. she's very sexual about stuff. She talks about, you know, convincing women to have anal and like, and she's always kind of on even when she's being interviewed. So I take that with like a grain of salt. I I, I also think like women can be cuckled. Like women, women might like it just as much as like men cucks. Like so the guy, so like there might be women who want that. Oh, they're definitely. I mean? I've seen those videos on Pornhub. Bro. I'm sure you have. Yeah, they like they like the reading and uh, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. It might be it might be a fetish thing. Mm-hmm. So I told yeah, you. Yeah. We well, there's guys that like being told they have small dicks as well too. Oh right. well, yeah, and kicking the balls. Yeah. Oh, the... buddy, ever seen those videos where the girl's blowing him, then she starts uppercutting him about he's yeah, about to come. or like right in the nuts. It's like extreme. Okay, you're oh, yeah, sorry, bro. Carl. Have you heard of edging too? Edging, buddy. Are we gonna get into the part where we start putting shit? Remember the poles and the penis head? Are we gonna get into that again? <laughs> no, that, that was Carl's got stories. Docking. Let's get into it here. That that made me. That almost made me pass out. <laughs> We had a previous episode where we talked you about. You can find that speaking. episode on YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, up there. Nice plug, Carl. Carl. Nice you plug, Carl. Carl. I think. <laughs> Just search Angels Live in My Town. Right. Crazy Carl is right. There is an episode where we talked about and Mike got sick and we had to cut the show yeah, I had to short stop. because we were talking about a guy sticking a metal rod mm. in his. Penis and then like tip. and then they would tune it, tinging like, it, and they ting it. Yeah, yeah, like little tip, like oh. like, like a tuning fork. Can bring the video up or no? Oh. There's no video. I don't know. Oh, if there's video. I love oh. that. She She's like camera Wait, you want to see the video of him getting sick, or you want to see the video of the? Because uh, I think that would be a harder find. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> probably not. Anything, anything you're gonna like? I don't know. Stick sticking anything into a, a pe- like. Oh, a pe- that does not. Yeah, catheters aren't cool, man. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So can I uh, can I just detour here for a second? Detour as, to, um, I, I was checking out uh, Nelly's Instagram, um, and there was um, uh, I was checking it out too. Nelly, by the way, huge following on yeah, Instagram. Amazing. Was, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And that's that's pretty impressive. So I want we, I want to ask you too. Like I know we're, our we're, four thousand looks pretty small. Yeah, we're trying to we we got up to four thousand real quick. Like we shot like a rocket into space, yeah. and then all of a sudden we've been like hovering at like forty five hundred yeah, yeah. for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes thirty eight. So uh, you know we how what's the we secret? Like what, what how, do we need to what do we need to do? Do we need to like be a hot chick who fixes cars? Like what do we need honestly? To do? Like okay, well. So my following, like, it goes up, it goes down. Um, basically what I do, and I'm not even lying, I don't look at my following. If it, if I happen to look at it, I'm like, oh, shit. I like, at it for you. I don't, okay. Yeah, I, I cover <laughs> it with my hand. We checked, it's 145,000. 166. 167. 167, Jesus. 67. Okay, okay. It's like, so, it's growing. So I it'll, Carl if right. I post a real, like, I don't post as often as I should as, like, normal normally people who want to grow following you're pretty active i'm not gonna lie to you i see you on on my story i do a lot Um, yeah i think but like when it comes to like my feed i try to do something that i'm really proud of like not force myself or feel pressured to post Mm. because i find when i do that we used to do that we used to do that yeah trust me i know it's yeah and it was very remember how i used to complain i'm like oh man i'm gonna create something for today and then i would call him and i'm like this is such a pain in the dick and we were just like even trying to create memes that were kind of funny and then Mm -hmm. now we've got into the story thing like you're saying so we'll post on our feed something that we you know from the show a clip something that we're proud of or something we're promoting 
Uh, and then in the story, we throw it because it's garbage. You can, you know, laugh and take it or maybe it flops and it's up for 24 hours and say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. So I I usually post on my story, like, I just, I try to be really authentic and not, uh, I mean, I've been on Instagram for a long time, probably since 2013, I think. Ooh, and there, yeah. yeah, there has been a lot Whoa, of times. Whoa, Nelly! <laughs> there's been a lot of times where I've felt like, oh, like, she's doing this and she's doing this and all these girls in the car scene and, oh, they're doing a lot of, you know, what everybody else is doing. And I've always veered away from that. I get a lot of offers to like promote people and like, uh, n- not people, but brands, brands and, like, brand deals. And how come you sponsor- don't do it? Like, can you, are you I, making money? Because, through because hold on, because yeah. I don't like to be tied down by anybody else's idea of what I should post. Except and for right. people live in my town. You don't Except want, except for you guys. Like I'm, we're getting her a you t-shirt. name it. I'm going to do it. She asked for a glass. <laughs> <laughs> these are, these are two of two. Nellie did say but, we could tie her down. <laughs> Whoa, so, Nelly! <laughs> but anyways, like yeah. when it comes to like growing your following, like I, the, there is a lot to be said about the following because especially if you're running a business and like your business uh, depends on your followers and the popularity and the views and all that. And I hear a lot of people complaining about the algorithm and everything. But personally, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, pay attention to any of that other than just being authentic and putting out what I want to put out. So that would be my best advice to anybody. Yeah. What what kind of stuff she put on there, Carl? What kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, we cut. Well, that's what I was saying. Uh, I was checking out the bio, stuff. and you have a, a link tree. So yep. uh, air fresheners. Oh, I oh. I, I, I down the link tree. Down. What's I the air freshener? Is that dot, your own oh, brand? Uh, Is that your own brand of air fresheners? That's a very good idea. I did have my air fresheners up, but um, paying for the Shopify store uh, was oh, not so worth. Uh, like just selling air fresheners. Yeah, and you gotta I, do more. There's yeah. a lot of other things that I could sell, like uh, posters, blah blah blah, and I should and I could, and I just feel like an octopus with my eight hands and eight different like things. So I just yeah. shut down the store for now until I have more stuff to sell in there. Yeah, you got it. Was you... cool. I was just in Nashville. We were at an auto museum, like mm-hmm. an event, like old cars. Really cool. I love I love old cars. So, and they had uh, you know like the you sign. dig it the most. You dig it the yeah. So you see those old signs in garages, like those metal like signs are like little rusted, like yeah. Texaco and shit like that. I don't think mm. I have any old. They were cool ones. as fuck. I bought like three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The repros are really cool. The yeah, they were really they're making cool. them look better. Like what do you call it? A repro, repro- oh, reproduction. reproduction. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So like try and keep up, Mike. They try like put the patina can... on it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's too hard. It's good. Some didn't. of the sign places do a really good job of it and make it look pretty authentic. Yeah. Yeah, no, and it, it just adds to a garage. It's like kind of mm-hmm. like what Mike's got up in here, and like he's got all this stuff on the walls. Yeah, it. it I really think people adds love that his, stuff. Mm-hmm, I do. Yeah, God I damn. mean, goddamn right they do. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I think that you know because you because you uh you do have a niche kind of in terms of your audience. Like they like obviously vintage cars, they like restorations, and hot chicks. That you could market to them. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you that's like win-win. Win. Different stuff. Yeah. Buddy, how many calendars yeah. are there with vintage cars? Why don't you have bikinis? Nelly, why don't you have a calendar? A calendar. You know what? So that's many a really good people point. Have asked me for a calendar, and honestly, I don't freaking know why I haven't be, pulled I would, the trigger on it. I should. I mean, I could. I would be. I would be willing to shoot your calendar. Would you? I would. Be, I, yeah, yeah, that's I'll what he does. Calendar. You know, he's a producer, of production. He does film. He does photography. Yeah. Let's work out a deal. Um, yeah. Definitely. Mikey, that's definitely. who. Mikey's the big yeah, winner. Great. Mikey wins. I think we would kill it. I think we'd have a killer calendar. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, I, I'm actually not really connected with any photographers. I did one, like, modeling shoot once. and Wait, hold on. You are. Right oh, here. yes, yes. He's right here. Oh, Previously. That... Now I am. <laughs> so so can we mention the spicy link? Oh, there's a What's spicy, spicy link? link? Uh-oh. Is that uh, your segue? Carl. Into, well, is that your segue? I'm just... I, I was looking, Carl, right? We talked about... Customs. We talked about air fresheners. Yeah. Honk shoe. Boring. All right. Well, the all oh, boring. I was interested all the way so far. <laughs> what's on the spicy? Let's go. Cool. It's a spicy link, Carl. Uh, I'm clicking. Hey, Carl. What's up? It's. <laughs> it appears to be an OnlyFans. And oh, really? You have an OnlyFans account? Yes, I I happen to. <laughs> That's great. Do you make Do you make like a shit ton of money? Whoa, Nelly! What are you doing on your OnlyFans account? Um, it's just more of the spicy stuff, I guess you could say, uh, as you described. Yeah, but your uh, posts already on Instagram sometimes are pretty well, they're, they're spicy. They're spicy, but you know what? It's a little going extra back, spice on the on the only A little thing. extra. Yeah, and actually going back to what I had mentioned about the one time that I did some modeling, 
I have always like been interested in it and then I went and did it and I had all of these like sexy photo shoot pictures yeah. and I was kind of nervous to post it on my Instagram because it's not it wasn't really not safe for work maybe not the same well not not exactly that like she's but, her own boss yeah well so at the time I was working a nine to five but um I, so I didn't have the balls to put on my Instagram because I was nervous about what other people would think and then I eventually yeah. did post it well she eventually posted, she did. I did, I did. And then um, I did notice that I lost some followers and I had like a very 50-50 of like positive and negative comments. Wow. And I was like, you know what? This isn't the platform to be posting that kind of thing. So True. I took it down because I was also it's a different really person. Smart. So, yeah. Had you already had like a huge following on Instagram I when you started? I think at that time, so it was, I know I lived um, where I live now. So that tells me that it was 2006. I think it might have been 2018 that I did the photo shoot. So I think I only, I probably had like less than 100,000, I think. Oh, but still, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. It was still important. Just 100. Well, you think about it, dude. I'm just I'm just fucking around. I'm just being an asshole. So anyways, to make a long story short, um, I decided to start my OnlyFans so that I had a platform to post my more sexy stuff and actually make some money on it. That's awesome. Yeah. Genius. Good for you. Good for you. And you did get... Did you find that you were able to get a bunch of subscribers? Oh, yeah. Um, right at the start. Because, like, people kept, me- like, commenting on my stuff, like, what's your OnlyFans? What's your OnlyFans? And I'm like, uh, what is OnlyFans? And then I looked it up, and I kind of just, like, it was in the back of my mind. And I'm like, eh, why not try it? Like, people might actually subscribe. So then I did. And, like, right off the bat, and I, like, was with my husband, and, like, we were talking about it. And, like, he was cool with it. And we were totally, like, you know, basically I was doing it, and he was in full uh like in he being informed of what was going on i was like look at people are subscribing like look at the money that i'm making and he's like wow and it almost seemed fake and then it like was surreal real, almost. <laughs> yeah, surreal. Like, yeah. like yeah you're like, getting wow. thousands of dollars a month just to like yeah. take a little lingerie pick or something Yeah, exactly so are you fully nude on your stuff um, you have to pay extra for it. So oh. the, the main, the main. Subscri- Carl sending me the link right now. I'm signing up. Whoa, <laughs> Nelly! You guys aren't subscribed. Um, <laughs> called out. I'm gonna lie and called say out. that I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, so like for the five bucks a month, which is a pretty good price. That is pretty it's cheap. The lowest price that you can possibly do, and I just do like there's no nudity on that. It's a, bikini it's, shots. Yeah, yeah. Sexy like lingerie sexy stuff, stuff in the truck, and like lingerie. Actually, stuff. probably a lot more guys prefer probably prefer that to leave a little more to the imagination. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I do give them the option. Uh, I don't want to like shove anything in their face or anything. So <laughs> 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 that costs a lot more. <laughs> so, yeah. What, what, what is your what is your OnlyFans account? So maybe you could just I like I think it's yeah, uh, put a plug in here. Might as well the, plug it. The, uh, I think my username is xoxo underscore nell. I think I changed it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is right now. Our cameras are just us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just. Carl's silent. Everyone's silent now. <laughs> shh, shh, everybody. I was it's all. Uh, XOXO <laughs> underscore no. I think it's here. Well, I don't have my phone. Can you That's send me good the that you're unplugged. Well, just hey? click on it, guys. Just click on his link tree. But then you have to sign up for an OnlyFans account just to. Yeah, he's going to do that. He don't care. Is that a typo? What? What's that? NFSW instead of NSFW doesn't hold me back <laughs> <laughs> that's a college, right? people are like oh i wonder what this is <laughs> something new i like it what's she doing i can't even find her on instagram right now oh, She's come on by the year oh fucking amateur bro n-e-l-l-l-s-t i don't get it she probably blocked you yeah, <laughs> she has her phone. She's full of shit. She instantly blocked all of us. I really <laughs> Look at these creepy old men. It's been a long time scumbags. since I blocked anybody. <laughs> oh, there we are. I found her. Okay, I got her. There it. you go. Here we go. Mikey found it. <laughs> it's great that the audience can see what he's looking at. Let's mm-hmm. move. You look. Can we continue a conversation? Can you do two things at once? Continue, please. I'm, I'm just doing my own little thing. This kid's doing it. That's weird that you're doing your own little thing. That's what I want to know. What are you doing over it's there? Sensitive content. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we can't post that anyways. So, in the long term, have you have you found has it had a detrimental effect or any effect on your on your work on your company branding? 
Yeah, like Kenny oh, Customs. No. Is Kenny Customs? Not fight? at all. Like, yeah, oh, I had. To, sorry, I had to renew. That's why I wasn't finding it. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, honestly, these are really good. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, that's really. Crazy. I'm so, not going to show the audience beca- no, because no, we can't you know, do that. It would be blocked. We want. They have to subscribe. They have to subscribe. Pay. Yeah, pay, pay that shit. shit. That's a good point. So no I don't. I don't like overly promote it on my Instagram. Uh, I think like I. I haven't even posted on my story in a really long time. Like maybe once a month, I'll put it on my story, but it's very elusive. And um, who as know, for, who would know you had this fucking body? Jesus. Christ. <laughs> As for the the business aspect of it, like there are so many people desperate for a person to do restoration work that like I don't really think they would care at all, even if they did know or like I don't think they I don't think they would care. Like you're good at your job. Yeah, exactly. um, If they did care, then I wouldn't want them around anyways. I mean, I'd pay you extra if you did it in one of these like outfits, (laughs) these thongs that you're wearing on the on the. God damn! I, you I, know what? I'm not going to watch her do the restoration, I'll, like sanding down shit. <laughs> I'll pay my own. I won't look at his. Yeah, I, I I'll do it on it. I want to watch Nelly change a tire. <laughs> I, I keep the two. Wait, very, do you do that? On, do you do that separate. on your OnlyFans? Do you no, change a tire? No, that just is just uh, that would take way too much time. I've seen on your stories though some white t-shirt shit. What's oh, the yeah, white yeah. t-shirt so thing? So I always wear a white t-shirt or like you know something cute and With something no bra. sexy. Like yeah. It, no, it's 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 yeah. it's a little bit provocative cuz it's the like mm-hmm. the idea of her changing the tire and then she's wearing a white t-shirt. Yeah. I'm telling you is it is a it is a it is an ultimate guy fantasy like seeing a girl who's competent, capable, mm-hmm. who can actually work with her hands and do shit, get shit done. Yeah. And she's beautiful and she's wearing like, you know, like something grubby that you'd wear in the fucking in the garage. That's the thing with girls. Like they could wear like rags that are like just kind of for, like fitted to their body, and they look super super hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and like I don't always, sh- I definitely don't always look like that in the shop. But like on the days where I feel really confident, and really cute, and I'm like, you know what, I got something really cool I could put together right now, and I'm vibing myself. And that's the days that I that I'll do a job and I'll wear my white shirt and Jesus all. Christ. I couldn't get any work done if she was working. <laughs> no shit. But God, I mean, like, God bless poor. her husband, I guess. God I bless mean. your husband. I mean, he's got willpower and discipline that I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no. I, I, we'd be we'd be starving if, if this was the case. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be, <laughs> I, you know. Mikey's hungry. Yeah, so we got no heat this week. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So you know what? That's awesome. Good for you. Thanks. Uh, excellent fucking account. Every if uh, you haven't checked out Nelly's uh, OnlyFans account, it's, f- it's five bucks a month and it's awesome. It is great. Five uh, bucks and it's fucking awesome. It'll let it's you kidding. into Nelly's world a little bit, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Let's it's a very unique world. It, Thank you, Carl. Yeah. I think you're very unique. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Carl. Yeah. I appreciate I, that. I'm crazy. Like, I don't think right? there's a lot of like super hot chicks that are doing whatever. You know what I mean? Hands on farted work, jars, right? Mm. Most of these, in, <laughs> most of these Instagram girls, yeah. Most of the Instagram girls are, you know, like just trying to take photos at places and yeah, yeah it's lameo. Filter, 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 filter. Lameo, lameo. Oh, lame-o. I know the filter. It's hard to get away from the filter. Fucking thing sucks. And that's one of the things is that oh. like you have to What's be pretty thing? legit so that when somebody meets you in real life, you don't look different. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry, sorry. We're preparing the game. Sorry, he just asked a question. I'm sorry. We're very unprofessional sometimes. That's okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Go. Go on. <laughs> oh, camera four is out, Mike. Is camera this? Is this the game that I'm supposed to play? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming up. It's already there. Oh, is it? I think he's getting no. loose. Is good now. But I. Yeah, it's good now. <laughs> okay. So let's get into this game. Well, let's get into this game. Let's explain it to her. So let's explain it because it's a, yeah. it's kind of like Jeopardy, but we're giving yeah. you or Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. I do that every time. Like correct Wheel of Fortune. Every time. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. We're giving you the final part, and you have to solve at that part. We do have a timer. Okay, let's get. Look, what's what's the name of this game? Oh, what's Mike? the name of the game? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Oh, that was a terrible mix. <laughs> Wait, let's try that again. One more time for the top, Mike. Let's yeah. go. What's the name of the game? What's the name of the game, Mike. Where's your head at? All right. So, Mike, explain the game. Okay, so basically, we're gonna see where your head's at. Okay. okay, so we're going to show you uh, a puzzle, like a Wheel of Fortune type puzzle, and you're going to have to figure out what the saying is. Okay. And through that, through your through your answer, we we'll kind of get an idea where your head's at. There is a timer. When the buzzer hits, you got to give an answer. Okay. You've got 10 seconds. 10 seconds, okay? Uh, let me know when you're ready, Mike. So we got to be pretty is, quick is, at this. This is an example one. This, is a, this is an example. This is a sample one, okay? So we'll try this as a trial run so you get the hang of it. Ready and we ready, Mike? Wait, wait. Can you read that? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. And go. Vaccines are killing people. Okay. 
So she's off the hop right off that. Okay, what does actually, what does it actually say, Mike? Vaccines are killing people. <laughs> okay. Good okay. example. That's but you guys example. made me break your no vax talk. Rule. Oh, she's really taking in the whole fucking oh, place, that's, bro. That's true. You got We're gonna sign. hook her up with a sign with that too on yeah, the way around. Sign, yeah, we need a sign for the lovely. Okay, lady. let's okay. go. Let Next me know. One. Give me a flash when you're ready for me to hit the timer. And give us your answer. If it hits the buzzer, okay, say ready? something. Ready? And I'm going to hit the timer. Wait, 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 wait. I'll hit the timer okay. first. And go. go. Big tits. <laughs> oh. What would you see at a Hooters restaurant? Big you tits. You said big tits. <laughs> no. It? The answer is big tips. 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 Okay. So that's where your head's at. That's where your head's at. <laughs> I will read it for her to make it easier and I hit the timer once you pull it up. Okay. So next one. Here we go. Every woman has this. Two answers. A pussy and a purse. Well, you can only have one answer. One answer. What's your answer? Final clock. Pussy. Oh, fuck it, idiot. No? Uh, a pulse. Oh. <laughs> a pulse. It's a pulse. Yeah. Um, next one. We know where your head's at. We right? know where your head's at. Oh. Next one. One second. We got two more for you. Wood that gets stuffed in a hole. A cork? Oh. Um, <laughs> getting better at these, Mike. I, I honestly didn't even think of a cork. <laughs> She's good. She's pretty getting good. Yeah. She's getting good. Okay. We got one more? Yeah, we got Last one, one more. Last All one. All right. It's a saying. <laughs> Fuck me in the ass tonight. <laughs> Oh, fucking idiot. No, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Luck be in the air tonight. <laughs> no. So Nellie's, Nellie had her head in the right, you know, and then she went right back. That's where Nellie's head's at. That's the whole head show led her astray. <laughs> well, we warmed her up a little bit with my bullshit five question thing. That's good. And then we got her warmed up nice and primed and she dived right into it. Her head is 50 50, so she's doing That's business. 50 yeah. She's, she's doing, doing business head. and she gets freaky. I like it. This is the right, this is the part Whoa, to go. Nelly. This is, well, this is the kind of people we like to have. On Those the are the people. <laughs> also a local. Also a local. Uh, Kenny, you got anything you want to plug? Yeah, plug, plug, Nelly. plug, plug Nelly. Nelly. Sorry, what did I say? What you call her? Kenny. Kenny? Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Kenny. It's Kenny Customs. I thought you were yeah. calling Carl. Fucking thing Kenny. sucks. <laughs> uh, Nelly, do you want anything uh, to? Do you want to? Pr- you want to promote anything other than your OnlyFans? Yeah, we didn't even get into her boat or die yeah. lifestyle. Oh, yeah, plug yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Boat or die. Yeah, what's that plug about? Plug everything you want. Plug oh, it away. Yeah. Well, no, I I got my uh, my brand that I launched this summer, Boat or Die. Um, Really into the boating lifestyle. And I, I love boating. To... Yeah, you do. Yeah, I got my buddy's got a boat at Nickel. We always at uh, Sugarloaf, and we always go to Nickel. Oh, cool. On the summer, yeah. Where do you where do you dock? Uh, well, we have a membership at the Birdie Boat Club, oh. so we keep our boat there. We have two boats. Uh, one is, uh, they're both vintage boats. One's a speed boat, and one's just like a seventy four yeah, starcraft. Yeah, mm. Oh shit, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we do a lot of boating over the summer. So I figured if I'm gonna start a brand. I'm going to do something involving boating. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. this community here, too, in Crystal Beach, I feel like it's a really, it's a beach community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. And, and boating is like, it's like my favorite thing to do in the summer. Crystal Honestly, Beach. I live for it. I wait all year to get on the boat in Lake It's Geary. the only place yep. where Mikey can be happy. <laughs> it really is. It's it, it's the only place a boy like Mikey, that's happy. who. Mikey's the big winner. So Mikey maybe we'll wins. get to see, maybe we'll see you on the water. Oh, do you yeah. ever, do you go to Nickel and Shirkston and um, stuff like that? No, sometimes we boat to port, uh, but like usually if we're going to go somewhere, uh, with the speedboat, it's nice to go to Chippewa. Oh, no, the, the Chippewa like, River? The yeah. creek. Mm-hmm. The creek. The creek. I, flo- I float creek. in that river. That's what I, I do with my floats. Yeah, that looks fun. I always see people doing that. You've never done it? No. Isn't I'm it always crazy? in a boat. She has I've a boat. Been invited <laughs> to the Why float, float when you have a boat? Yeah, it's yeah. true. That's true. Hey, now. No, floating's pretty fun, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I lived here my whole life. I never did a float until like last year. Last year was like the first time I ever did it. You did a float? I did a float. I've been invited to a bunch of floats and never gone. It's fun, bro. Same. I don't know why we never did that shit. Like, I ain't, I ain't got time for it, bro. Oh, yes. Hey, well, maybe... Uh, fucking thing sucks! <laughs> we should do it. Angels live in my town. Kenny Close. Customs, let's it's get crazy. something going here. Let's let's collaborate. We're going to hook up. We're going to yeah. send some info. We'll so figure it out. I'm going to do a photo shoot with Kenny. Me and you are going to produce a calendar. It's Make like, sure she wears one of our t-shirts. get on it for 2023. We should have yeah. sold a million of these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. Damn it. You guys fucked up. We can start from February. Give him a discount. 
<laughs> Discount. Well, that's the thing calendar. is that like by the time I'm thinking about making a calendar, like I've got a lot of pictures I could use to make the calendar. It's just like, okay, well now it's like getting to the end of the year. I better yeah. scramble, and the next thing you know, it's the next year. Well, now that we've linked up, uh, Nelly, I think I know. We know there's collabs in the future. I think mm-hmm. we, I think there's ways that we could combine yeah. our it, our talents and Definitely. our values. Definitely. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm so glad we met, Nelly. Mm. Finally, this was awesome. Growing up in this community. Whoa, Nelly! Growing up in this community, finally got to meet Nelly. Probably the, hot, yeah. the, the hottest nice girl we've had on the show. Too. Thank you. 100%. Yeah. Oh, there girl, weren't right? any other Carl? girls. <laughs> we had like, we've had a few. Crazy Carl is right. We've had a few. We've had, we've had other, there's Several. been other females. Oh, we've only had other OnlyFans, fans, fans, girls. We've OG had hustlers. Them. Yes, OG hustlers. Yeah, there's been plenty. Nelly's, Nelly's the hottest girl we've had on the show. That's a bold statement, and I like it. It's, you know what? Step to keep in the bar. Well, thank you, guys. Now it's got to go up from the bar. I had a good time. Anyways, <laughs> Nelly, you so want to plug Nelly. anything else? No, no. No, you said it all. Yeah. Thank you? Thank you. Carl, anything? You got anything to plug besides uh, boys? Whatever. What's the you want to plug Nelly? Border Town? What do you call it? What's the show? Hey, thanks on? for being here, Nelly. It was awesome. <laughs> the boys, the boys. Oh, the, the boys. boys. See, the she, boys, remembered. Boys. Yeah. she remembered. She remembered. Check my IMDB page. We damn boys. Hey, Carl, what's up? Thank okay, you, guys. Carl. Buddy, thank thanks. you. Thank you, everybody. Tune in, everybody. Until next time. Thank you, Nelly. Check her out. I like your name a lot.